Okay, so let's uh, let's work a few examples here. Um, it's always good to read the instructions very, very carefully when you're dealing with statistics. Um, lots of things can be hiding uh, in the question. Um, this is just asking us to find the number of modes, so nothing too sinister here. Um, we just need to determine, um, do I have any repeated values? Well, so I like to go in here and, and rewrite this from smallest to largest. So 14, and then I like to mark it out once I'm done. So there's 14, there's 28. And of course, this isn't necessary if you don't want to do this. It's just a suggestion on my part. There's 46, then 67, 83. Oh, and look, I've got another 83. And then 89. What that does, it takes a little longer, but it makes it very, very, very obvious as to what your mode is. So my mode here, I have one of them, and that mode is 83. Okay. Let's go ahead and the next question. Okay, let's find the mean, the mean of the following integers. So mean, remember, is the average. Um, and, and guys, I don't require uh, that you not use a calculator on this. Um, you can absolutely do your addition and subtraction using a calculator. So my average here is averaging 6, 5, 10, 14, 14, and 17. Well, if I were looking for modes, 14 would be my mode, wouldn't it? But I'm looking for the average, so let's go ahead and work that. So 6 plus 5 plus 10 plus 14 plus 14 plus 17. Combining those, I'm going to get 66. So 6 plus 5 plus 10 plus 14 plus 14 plus 17. Adding those together is going to give me the number 66. Now, how many, how many numbers do I have? Well, looking at this, I have, oops, sorry about that, I have um, 1, Two, three, four, five, six. So I have six total numbers. Well, then to find my average, I'm going to take 66, divide it by my total number of numbers, which is six. And then I get, of course, that 66 divided by six is the number 11. So I get that my average here is 11. Next question. Next question says, okay, we're going to try to find the range of the data points. Now, here I need to subtract the smallest from the largest. Well, this is getting confusing. Just the way it's all written in, everything looks kind of jumbled together. So again, I'm going to do kind of the same thing, and I'm going to uh, do my best to just uh, break them apart. Okay. So I'm going to use a couple of different colors and, uh, and, and break these numbers. So my first number is 23.45. My second number is 2.62. Third is 65.75. Um, 76.25. 73.72. And all this is doing is kind of helping me to distinguish the difference in the numbers. Okay. Now I can look for the largest versus the smallest. So well, um, I know as I'm going through here, 65 is pretty large, but 76 is larger, and 88.1 is even larger than that. So I'm going to select my 88.1, and I don't see anything larger than 88.1 here. And it looks like my smallest is going to be 2.62. So 2.62 is my smallest. Well, all we do to find the range, subtract those two numbers. Um, give myself a zero here. I'll just go ahead and, and work it this way. So um, borrow one that gives me 10 and left with eight. So this was a zero. Borrow one from here. Gives me 10, so that's 0.48. Seven minus two uh, is, of course, five. So my range here is 85.48. Okay. And all I did was subtract the smallest from the largest. Last but not least, I'm trying to find the median. Now, let's see how many numbers we have. Again, I'm going to do the same thing because I kind of liked that. I liked being able to break up um, my number. 
colors. So I'm going to use three colors this time. So there's one number, two numbers, three numbers, four, five, and six. Uh-oh. So we've got an even number of numbers here. So we have six total. Well, what does that mean? That means since there's six total, I'm not going to be able to get a median that I'm just going to select. I'm going to have to go in much deeper uh, and actually find the average. So let's go ahead and line these up because i got to find out which one's the middle number. Um, so this is pretty easy to see. So 14.1 is the smallest. 14.05 is the second. Uh, then looks like 23.33. Uh, and, and I like kind of marking them out. It makes it easier to notice uh, what I have and have not used. Uh, then 55.7, uh, 63.19, and uh, finally 94.93. Now, we know we're going to have that middle ground we're going to have to deal with. So, uh, two above, two below, that's going to put my middle right here at 23.33 and 55.87. So remember, what I have to do here is I'm going to have to uh, combine these, 23.33 plus 55.87. So let's go ahead and do that. You can use your calculator if you wish. So 23.33 plus 55.87, that's going to give me 79.2. Guys, I'm not done. This has not, this 79.2 does not fall between 23.33 and 55.87. It falls way up here somewhere. So remember, to find my average, I have to divide by the total number of numbers, in this case 2. So 79.2 divided by 2 gives me the average of 39.6. This is pretty easy to check, guys. Does 39.6 fall between 23.33 and 55.87? In this case, it does. So I know that's just kind of a cursory check, but I'm okay. Um, as always, uh, email me if you have any questions at all.